Alright, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA, and we are back here for another episode of the Phoenix Suns of my league. And you guys already know that in this episode, we are going to go ahead and finish up this season. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed season number one. Not a lot of things happened. We didn't make a lot of trades. Nothing really big happened this season. And that was mainly just because this year was pretty much a trial year. Like, we already knew that there was really no point of making all these big trades and trying to win. When this team is simply not ready. Like, they honestly are just not ready for that to actually happen, y'all. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video and you guys want to see more, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. And let's get 200 likes for the next one. Now, I do plan on double uploading today. So, so either that second video is already out or it's going to be on its way, y'all. But yeah, if you guys missed the last one, we did go ahead and take on the Sacramento Kings. As well as sim through the trade deadline, talk about the future of this team and all of that good stuff. So make sure to go ahead and check out that video. I'll make sure to link it in the description below as well as in the top right hand corner. But yeah, we are going to go ahead and finish out the season and maybe even do the draft lottery. Because I do want to know where this team is going to end up. And you guys already know what my plan is for this team. Right now we're projected, we've been winning. Even though we're on like a 7 game losing streak. We're projected to have the 10th pick, which really sucks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, because some of those East teams are really, really trash. Um, but yeah, we are projected to actually have like the 10th pick. I, I hope that we can find a way in the top five. Probably won't happen. But that would be awesome if it was able to. Um, but you guys already know what I'm trying to do. Like, if we get this pick, if we can pick up Nas replaying my power forward, that's something that, that's something to like think about. Or we can go towards Romeo Langford, Nas Little, Cam Reddish, if they are there still. But this team, I, I really like I really like the way that they've been playing this entire season. Stats wise, Booker was doing his thing. Aiden's probably gonna be probably gonna be rookie of the year. Bridges will also be on our rookie first team. Uh I like Josh Jackson, man. He was doing an amazing job playing power forward. And I might let that be his position for the future. I don't know, maybe he can be our Draymond Green minus the playmaking just just play amazing defense not have to take on a, a lot of scoring and just be that kind of player i'm not really sure what i can do if we can possibly make a trade and uh trade that pick and get and get an all-star on like a one-year deal that would be ideal but since that's probably not going to happen of course i already said it in the last one i'm going to offer d'angelo russell the most amount of money possibly and, and just and the Nets might match that, so that's probably not going to happen. Kemba Walker, there's really no point. I, I want more defense in my starting lineup, and if I was not going to accept defense, D'Lo is 23. He's 23, and I feel like he can definitely get into the 90s eventually. Um, who else? Who else is there? I mean, there's nobody else really here that's going to be a restricted free agent that, that I actually want. So hopefully we can make some kind of move happen, you guys. I'm not really sure. Yo, maybe Bam. They sent this man down to the G League. We might be able to pick him up. All right, so that might be uh, the move for us. As far as Ellie Okobo goes, I might want to start him next year. He's at a 79, uh, but it really just depends. Chris is at 78. We we got a lot of we, we got a lot of young talent on this team, and we got to decide what we want to actually do with it. But let's start simming through the end of this season. I am going to hop in this game versus Golden State because at this point, DeMarcus Cousins is back. And I, I did promise you guys that I will get you guys some gameplay against them. We just need to continue just to take L. See, how we beat OKC, though? Bruh. Russ. Bruh. Wh what? Why, why are we taking dubs? Let's take these L's to improve our stock. Let's hop in this game versus the Golden State Warriors. They better blow us out. But I will be hopping in in the fourth quarter. Oh, there's like a minute 45 left. I mean, I guess I can get some gameplay. I might as well. This team is this team is definitely about to win the championship. All right, so heading into the game, let's see what we got. Booker. Oh, wide open. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, come on. Great defense. No threes. I mean, they're going to win regardless, but I want to get some buckets at least. Come on. That better not go in. Let's go. Let's get it. Okay. We're out of... Hold on. Wow. Y'all really think that mans can't shoot? Mans can shoot. Come on. Come on. Curry. Bruh. Come on. All right. Let's get into it. We got to get this man out. Oh, wait. Easy miss. Okay. That was... 
That was about to be real bad. Four games, four wins. Really wow. All right, Dre. Ardre, bro, flagrant one. <laughs> yo, what, what what is you doing, dog? But yo, I really liked this season from DeAndre Aiden and our entire young core. I think they all played amazing. Uh, Aiden Booker, I really liked what I saw from like Bridges and Jackson. I was kind of skeptical about him at first, but whenever I was playing him at power forward and he started knocking down his shots. Everything just started to like click, so I really, really like that. And I uh, and just just let me know what you guys think that we should improve upon for the second season, you guys. Like I did say, I'm gonna be doing a lot more games, a lot more of the GM stuff uh, once it actually matters. Like um, I want to make some like trades, but since the series is supposed to be at least at least for the most part realistic, I don't want to do anything crazy, which is why I, I've, I've kind of been holding back. But just let me know what we should do, man, because. If we were to pick up D-Low for agency, which there's like a 90, there's like a 97 percent chance, may, maybe even more, that, that that does not happen because the Nets are gonna match that. But if we could possibly make a trade or do something, because I think that that's where Phoenix is at in this process, is that they don't want to keep getting all these lottery picks. They want to start winning with the team that they got, especially since they already have like a lot of top five picks on their roster in general. So I think that they are that close to actually starting to like want to win games. So that's what I'm trying to do. So leave me some ideas in the comment section below. Um, you guys told me to look at D-Lo, look at Terry Rozier. And yo, Terry, scared Terry on this team would actually be lit. I think he's a free agent this year. And maybe we can do maybe we can do a sign and trade with that. But at the end of the season, Russell Westbrook is the MVP. Our boy DeAndre Aiden wins Rookie of the Year, averaging 18.9 points, 11 rebounds, 1.7 assists, 0.7 steals, 2.1 blocks, while shooting 52% from the field, 73% from the free throw line, and 30% from the three. Larry Nance is sixth man of the year. Drummond is defensive player of the year. Jordan Bell was improved. And Coach D goes to Nick Nurse of the Toronto Raptors as they get the second seed in the East. So I don't know why they're here, but yo, congrats to the baby Raptors, man. Maybe you guys, you know, make the finals now i don't know all right so do we get any Suns players i highly doubt this but you guys already know all nba first team is russ harden Giannis, kd and drummond second team is chris paul john wall paul george lebron and anthony davis and uh De'Aaron fox makes the team which is lit good for him all right all defensive i, I know that we got none but we do get mikhail bridges makes all defensive second team as a rookie, so he was doing great. All rookie first team, we get two players on it. It's DeAndre Ayton, Luka Doncic, Marvin Bagley, so the first and second pick make it. Jaron Jackson and Bridges, so one. So the first, so, so the top four picks all make it, and then the 10th pick does as well. That's awesome. All all rookie second team is, is Trey Young, Wendo Carter Jr., Muhammad Bamba, Jared Allen, and Miles Bridges as well. All right, so obviously we were a bad team, and we're projected to have the seventh pick. Let's slide into that top five, dog. That's all that I'm really asking for. Let's slide into that top five. The league leader, the league leader in points was Harden. Rebounds was Drummond. Assists was Russ. Steals was Chris Dunn. Blocks was Rudy Gobert. Uh, nobody really cares about those uh, turnovers, though. All right, and uh, let's see. Is there anything else that I, I, I need to show? These are our final uh, stats for this first season. I like what I saw from this team. And hopefully, we can just keep this thing up. Hopefully, that's what we can actually do. And uh, is that it? Is that it? Let's also show the conferences. Because LeBron and the Lakers did not make the... <laughs> they did not make the playoffs, dog. Wow. And in this simulation... Hold on. Yeah. They didn't make the playoffs. So, I don't know what to say about that. That's not our problem. That's all I can tell you. But, all right. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's just start simming because none of this means anything to me. Now, I now I am going to go through the draft lottery and then take a look at some of these prospects because in the next video, I do plan on doing the NBA draft and free agency. In the end, the Houston Rockets win and Chris Paul wins on his MVP. Good for him. And, yeah, like I was saying before, uh, I am going to be going through through the draft lottery. And then in the next video, I will take care of the NBA draft. But for this one, we're going to cover everything up into the draft combine and the pre and the pre-draft workouts. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think that we should be doing in the comment section below. Player retirement. There they are. Staff retirement. 
Von, Von retires. Hall of Fame is Vince Carter. League meetings. Is there anything in here that needs to be accepted? No, chill out. I think we're gonna leave everything the same. Um, uh, yeah. I think they did this in real life. I'm not. I'm not even sure. But hey, we're gonna reject all of it and just leave the NBA alone. So before we get into the draft lottery, seventh pick. Nas Reed is shooting up those draft boards, but maybe we can get somebody like Nas Little because, like I said before, man, I like the way that Jackson was playing at power forward. Now, we could have problems whenever it comes to the playoffs, but this draft is still full of wing players. So, if we so maybe we trade this pick, like, there are so many options for us. Obviously, in, in that trade, I would have to include in Warren, Brandon Knight, and probably either Chris or Bender. But if we could pull in another all-star level player on like a short-term deal, so because the, those are the only players that are really getting traded, I would do it. Or I would just take a risk, draft him or draft another wing player like like Langford. I'm if Reddish, if Reddish is there at that pick, I'm taking him. Wow, that man, they're saying that he's gonna be that pick 10. If bruh. I'll draft him. But anyways, let's hop into the draft lottery. And let's see. We projected to get the seventh pick, so let's just get into it. Please. Let us be let us let us be blessed with a top five pick so that we have multiple options. Either we can either we can draft like Cam Reddish or or Nas Reed or somebody else. Or maybe we trade it with some other prospects and other players on our team. We get an all-star level player like we, we have a bunch of options like we, we have a bunch of options and I already know that at the bottom of this draft they have other very good guards that who also could be good who who also could be good like Quinn Grimes like Darius Garland so th there's a bunch of options there as well but yo all right Sacramento is actually pretty decent Trailblazers right there please let us get in the top five if we can get in the top five that would definitely be a dub the Pelicans are back in the top 10 without DeMarcus Cousins. Please do not let it be us. Do not let it be us. Bruh. All right, so we walk away with the seventh overall pick. That's still not bad. I mean, I don't really like it, but it's definitely not bad at all. Staff signings, uh, I'm cool with our entire staff. Actually, hold on. I do want to bring in a brand new trainer uh, on a four-year deal. Let's pay the man. Also, I want to get a brand new scout as well. Just so that we can make sure that, that we scout the right talent. And an assistant GM would be nice to have. Alright. That would be nice. Alright, so let's see if we can get all of those guys. And they all accept. Welcome to, to, to the squad. Igor, I'm counting on you, homie. I'm counting on you, man. Alright, so getting into the draft combine. Let's see what we're going to be working with this season. The fastest is Lamar Peters. Uh, the agility is Lamar. And this guy, Zion, is, is up there as well. So, so is Nas Little, and so is Quentin Grimes. Like I said, man, that's somebody that I'm going to be looking at towards the bottom of the draft. I think that he might be there for us to trade up and get him later on. The highest vertical is Zion, and uh, okay, that's cool. The strongest is, is Nas Reed. Who can shoot the best? The moving three is Ke is Kellen Grady out of Davidson, and then we have Reef and Romeo Lang for standing three, Jared Culver from Texas Tech. All right, all this is some good information that's pretty much useless. All right, so for pre-draft workouts, we are going to, of course, work out some of these players. Langford isn't going to be there, but uh, of course, you want to work out the number one pick. But if he knows he's going, he, if he knows he's going one, he ain't working out with us. So the fastest one out of this group is this guy who's supposed to be going like top four, top three. He, he also has a fast length, so he's extremely athletic. Highest vertical, Zion. They got finished third. The best shooter here, Romeo Langford. All right, all right. And, uh, all right, since, since, since we're scouting all these guys, let's take, let's look at their potential. Starter, you're a starter, starter. You, you, you can be an all-star, one of the best play, playmakers in the draft. Should be serviceable, should definitely be a serviceable player for years to come. Shows a great amount of upside. Be patient and he can develop. He's not good at getting steals. He's, he's, he's horrible on defense. Eh, I don't, I don't really want that. You can be a starter, solid mid-range shooting ability, good finisher at the rim. He, he, he can create shots. Those are things that I like to like see. Perimeter defense is a B minus. That's interesting. Next up, Romeo Langford. 
could be useful player right, right right away no weaknesses what's his defense looking like b minus and his playmaking is a b i like that Nas little i know that he can't shoot so I, i'm not really sure about this i know he can defend but he, he can't shoot at all I, I at least want some like shooters and this man this man don't, don't got a lot of potential Perimeter defense isn't the best. What about uh, eh, his defense? Ain't really all that. I really want to get Cam Reddish if he's there. Nas Reed can be a starter, good playmaker, can blast. He, he's not really get, good at getting steals, but his perimeter defense, ah, man. All that is not that. It's not that good. All right, so before I actually finish off this episode, y'all, um, I'm just going to go ahead and test out some of these trade ideas that I actually have. Uh... Let's see what comes up. If there is an all-star left up, I might look at doing it. I'm not doing it first on white side. That just makes no sense. CJ is on a two-year deal, and I, I don't. I, I'm not trading it for CJ as well. Are there any players here that are left on one-year deal deals on a losing team? I'm nah. So yeah, one person that like you that you guys really told me to actually pick up was somebody like Kevin Love. The one problem with getting Kevin Love is that he's 30. Yes, he he would help us win. But I already tried to actually trade for him one time. They was asking for the biggest bag possible. Like, and I don't think he's worth the seventh overall pick at this time in his career. So that might be something that I pass on doing. Other than him, is there anybody else? And like I've been stating, I, I want somebody who's at least serviceable on defense in some way. Or is young enough. So I'm going to add him to my target list. Um, who else? Who else should I possibly look at getting? They're not, they're not going to trade him. Like, probably ever. Anthony Davis? I mean, we, we can add him there. He's just not coming. Uh, Julius Randle, nah. Anybody else? See, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'm good because there's nobody else here that I really want. So maybe we just stick with the plan and we just enter into the NBA draft. Reddish is projected to like go fifth to the Pistons. Who? Okay. We already know that if he goes past the Pistons, the Jazz ain't taking him. They are projected to actually pick up Nas Reed. If Cam Reddish or Nas Reed is there, that's who we're going to be taking. Or maybe if I see a, a potential trade somewhere else, that's what we do. But anyways, you guys, let me know what you guys want me to do with this team in the comment section below. We're kind of in a weird situation I really don't know what we should be doing because, like I stated before, I do want to get a veteran all-star le level player, but I don't feel like any of them are really on the block right now. Like, none of them. I mean, Dame, obviously not. And if I had to pick and choose, it would probably be a post player. And I, I don't see any of those guys left. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Make sure to go ahead and comment and, of course, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to be taking on the NBA draft as well as the rest of this offseason. So that should be litty. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Yes, I be with future, but I like to reminisce. Yeah. I do not forget a thing. I'm patient. It's a gift. Yeah. Try to tell them they ain't got to do it. They insist. Yeah.